good morning guys good morning it's another beautiful sunday morning uh, yes i am making my way to church before we do let us pray of course heavenly father we want to thank you for last week thank you for all the amazing grace that you have bestowed on each and every one of us lord we want to thank you for those of us who will be on the road today lord we want to pray for journey in mercies we want to pray that you bring us to our destinations and back home safely, Lord. Keep and direct each and every one of the drivers, Lord. For the children who will be going off to of school tomorrow morning, Lord. Be with them, Lord. Help them to learn something throughout this week, Lord. As the year is coming to a close, enough year exam will be coming up. Revisions will be done. So help them to learn and retain each and everything that the teacher has taught from September coming through until november no lord lord we want to thank you for all you've been doing thank you for your provisions thank you for your showers of blessing that you have been falling throughout last week lord lord continue to keep each and every one of us lord help us all to come closer to you lord get to know you personally lord as our lord and savior we want to thank you for this in your name i pray amen church time <laughs> Let every, sto every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. For rulers are not terrible to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do not wish it good. Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God, the means of us, for if thou do that which is good, be afraid, for he will not sword of me. For he is the minister of God, and remember to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore he must needs be subject. Not only for wrath, 
but also of a conscious state. And that knowing the time that now is, is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Put in our as we go together. But continue on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the Lord's fear of. So I'm greeting you, but, but I want you to 
in verse number one. He says, I am a witness. I saw the sufferings of Christ. And I'm also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Isn't it nice and beautiful that you and I can praise the Lord for the glory that shall be revealed? Isn't it wonderful that you and I are not a partaker of, his, of that great suffering that he suffered on the cross, but we are partaker of the glory that shall be revealed?
of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us all, now and forever. Amen.